The Nikon Z50 teamed up with the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 Z lens. What's it like for astrophotography? Find out next. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This video is actually a little bit of a follow-on from the review that I did a little while ago on the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 Z lens and if you haven't seen that video I'll just leave it up here for you to check out a little bit later on. But at the end of that review I mentioned how keen I was to get out with this little combo and see what it was like for astrophotography. When it comes to astrophotography I think the better organized and pre-planned you are the better the shot you end up getting. So I headed out to a couple of locations during the daylight hours where I thought it might be good for a shot of the Milky Way. First location was at a local lake and I used my photo pills app to ascertain the time and position where the Milky Way was going to be near the horizon in the west. I like this one spot and I noticed it might make for a nice panorama shot over top of this mountain range in the distance. I walked around the lake a little more and thought this spot would make for a nice composition with this long grass or these reeds in the foreground and perhaps the Milky Way could reflect in the water if it was still enough. My next step was then to check my clear outside app for any sort of cloud cover on the night I was planning. Well, see for yourself, you can't get much better than that with zero cloud forecast. Now there was just a couple of things going against me for these shots I was planning. Firstly, it wasn't the new moon yet, so there was still a little bit of moonlight about with potential to affect my images. Reason why I had to go for it on this particular night was because the new moon phase for this month, we were actually expecting some heavy cloud and rain. Secondly, I was still relatively close to the city, so light pollution again might affect the lower part of my images. Okay, so the recce was done, the plan was in place for the shots. It was now time to get up at 3 a.m. in the freezing cold and head out to the lake. Hmm, 3 a.m., freezing cold, my favorite part. I set up the Z50 at the first location and fired off some shots testing different apertures at different shutter times and ISOs. I settled on this shot, which ended up being 15 seconds at f2.2 with ISO 2000. Now as I don't have an L bracket for my Z50, I crudely set it up using my Nikon D850 L bracket and nodal rail for panos. A bit of overkill, it looked pretty silly, but hey, as John Lennon said, whatever gets you through the night, it's all right. If you haven't seen the video yet on how I do my panos using this gear, I'll leave it at the end of the video for you. I fired off nine shots with the Z50 in portrait orientation. So what I did was I panned from left to right, and with each frame, I left about a third of a frame overlap. So when I stitched together in Lightroom and Photoshop, this was the result. So on both these images, I did get a bit of light pollution from the moon and city. And that's the reason why I didn't bother trying to shoot the Milky Way with the reeds in the foreground. The city lights were washing out that part of the sky in that direction. My next location was at Beachmere, and if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll have noticed I've been here before for other videos. As I already know this location pretty well, I didn't bother with a recce during the day. So I rolled up, pulled out my photo pills app, and worked out quickly where the Milky Way was. I still had to pre-plan this shot, however, and check my clear outside app. And again, cloud was looking good with zero predicted. I got set up with the Z50 and fired off some test shots. I noticed the foreground was a little bit empty, so I decided to add myself at the bottom left of frame and hold up an old fishing lantern that I had at home at the base of the galactic core. The Nikon Z50 with the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 Z lens, I think is actually a pretty cool budget APS-C combo for astrophotography. With my astro tests with the Viltrox lens, I found I got the best results sharpness and clarity wise from apertures around about f2 to f2.8. 
I also noticed in my raw shots, I was getting some slight vignetting in the corners, but that can be fixed easily in a matter of seconds in post-processing. My two little outings weren't really the ideal conditions darkness-wise for me, with a bit of light pollution from the moon and the city in my shots, but you know, I did my best with the conditions I had. For a bit of fun while I was at Beachmere, I actually pulled out my Nikon D750 with the Nikon 14 to 24 mm f 2.8G lens and started firing off some astro shots. Then what I did was I took that same lens and I put it onto the Z50 via the FTZ2 adapter and fired off the same shots using the same settings. So what I'm gonna do is another video comparing those two shots from a full frame to a crop sensor in a future video. So make sure you subscribe and check out that one coming very soon. Well guys, as I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.